Welcome to Boosters Views. I'm Chris. And I'm Rob. And today we're doing Bira Moretta. Let's get it right. Cheap beer, Moretti. Mm. And I'll tell you how you can tell cheap beer. They're all produced by Heineken. They seem like they've got individual names, but Heineken's producing all of them, which means it's got one big, giant animal there. <laughs> okay, feeding it lots of water. <laughs> it's a different I'm just sitting there with, with a big, um, what do they call them? Others? No, no, no. What do they call the um, things Others? that you collect drinks with? It's embarrassing. I have a complete brain fade. I have no idea. You know, when you've only got a bottle of water and you put a little plastic thing in it to pour juice. A funnel. A funnel for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. So they're just sitting with a funnel beneath that gargantuan animal, not a Heineken factory, and they're just pouring all the contents into bottles, chilling it, pouring into bottles. All the same, really. But no, 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 jokes aside, I mean, it is cheap, though. Mm. Um, funnel. How can I couldn't think of funnel? That's a total brain fade. Major dementia going on here. Or the amount of whiskey and beer we've had before. Yeah, that's or what, it, what it is. Maybe. Anyhow. Yeah, if you look at the channel, you see we're in the same clothes, but we've used some other drinks. Mm -hmm. Lots of them. So, yeah, on the nose. Yeasty. Actually got more more smell than the Coronas we did before. Oh, we have to use company names? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just did with Heineken. And do you know what this smells like? With a spoon. Okay. <laughs> now, if any of you have been to the UK, and those of you who are not from the UK, walk into a Witherspoons pub. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and this is this is Pierre Witherspoons. Beery. This mm. smells like beer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that yeasty, beery. Sticky with carpets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to agree. Mm. Yes. Let's try it. What's it taste like? Everyone knows what it tastes like by the description I did. Well, it's got more flavour than the Corona. <clears throat> I'd say there's more malty flavour going on, whereas the Corona was just flat. Well, it flat in flavour. This has got something. You know what? <clears throat> Normally when you describe some of these drinks, I just want to punch you because it's just sophisticated madness. But in this case, I think you described it one well when you compare it to the Corona. Yeah, the Corona That's is just fair. watered down beer. Mm. This one tastes like it's got a lot more depth to it. Still cheap though, but it's got a lot more depth to it. There's a better malty flavour. There's a bit more bitter finish, mm -hmm. but not to the saccharine level. There's a it, there's a bitterness there, but it's not just oh, you're going to get far with saccharin. Yeah, yeah, but the rest is alright. Yeah, it, it's it's nice, and you know, yeah, it's refreshing. Got to the point where it's just like watery, like the other one. I could get okay. it. Yeah. Definitely. But I reckon after a few, my palate will get bored. I probably want to change it up a bit. Again, it depends on the purpose. Yeah. Hot, sunny day, lying down, overlooking Mandeville in Jamaica mm -hmm. from a high hilltop. This would be nice. If you're just going to sit there and drink four or five of them throughout a three or four hour period, it'll be nice. What's the ABV? 4.6. Hmm. Not thrilling, but not bad. But I'll tell you what, if you were going out to a party, for example, and you came around someone's house and you just about to, well, you just bought your Uber and you said, let's get a few drinks in me, mm. there's no point in drinking this. But if you're going to turn up and say, I've got 12 pack of these. <laughs> you get kicked out for being a cheapskate. <laughs> Bring around a 12 pack of Moretti. That's like bringing a tail pack of Stella or the 22, um, 22, 2020 beer of the year, Corona. You just don't bring those to parties. If bought for you, yeah, yeah, get this beer, come back with this one. Yeah, I won't complain. I could drink it. Yeah, mm. likewise. Yeah, get me a beer, Rob. You wouldn't feel no way about grabbing one of these. No, I'll definitely get one of these and give it to you. What do you want, a beer? Yeah, bam. You can yeah, have that too. If you brought me a Corona. Now that I've actually sampled it in terms of review, mm. yeah, don't bring you the Corona. See, yeah, yeah, you, you can <laughs> done with bring that. one of these. This will pass, mm. cheap as it is. For those who don't know, the ranking comes broken glass, which is minus one, two, three, four, five bottle. So I'll give this three. I'm with you there. In fact, I feel like marking down the Corona because. 
this is more of a three. Whereas Corona, definitely a two, maybe a one. It's in comparison, they're in different leagues. And to give them the same mark, nah. It's mm-hmm. a three. Not earth shattering. That's the job. Oh, you empty the bottle. So I might have to waste my score of it because I could really drink some more of this, but then again. Oh, maybe it's worth a four. No, it's not worth a four. Well, I just wanted some more. A four is a superior beer. Well, this isn't one of those. This is just refreshing, workable, reasonable, but it's not a thrilling beer. Not superior. Yeah. No, it's definitely yeah. superior. Mm. And the last one was superior beer is, I can't think off the top of my head. Mm. I'll know it when I taste it in this. Indeed. In this thing here. But this isn't one of those. Good, good. All I could do is some more right now. 